Let's write the atomic orbital diagram for phosphorus. The first thing we need to do, we need to write the electron configuration for phosphorus before we can do the orbital diagram. So phosphorus, that's atomic number 15. That means it has 15 protons. And since all the elements on the periodic table are neutral, protons equals electrons. We have 15 electrons for the phosphorus electron configuration. Phosphorus, that's right here on the periodic table. So we're just going to follow this pattern here on the periodic table until we get to phosphorus. We'll start with 1s. We have 1s1, 1s2. Then we're back down here. We go to 2s. That's the second energy level, 2s, and that holds s1, s2. Then we're over here at the 2p. p holds up to 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 2p. 6, we've used 10 electrons. We have, remember, 15. So 2p, we go to 3s1, 3s2. And then we're over to 3p, and we go 1, 2, 3. 3p, 3. And if you count these numbers up, we've used 15 electrons. So this is the electron configuration for phosphorus. We'll use this to write the atomic orbital diagram for phosphorus. So this is the orbital diagram, and this is our electron configuration, and they're trying to explain the same things, where the electrons are around the nucleus of the phosphorus atom. You can think of the nucleus as being, say, right here, and these energy levels are around it, kind of like shells. So we have 1s2, we put 2 in there, opposite directions, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, and then 3p3, and we spread them out before we pair them up. And this is the orbital diagram for phosphorus. Sometimes you'll see it written like this here, and it's the same thing, it's just horizontal. And again, this is just describing where the electrons are around the nucleus of the phosphorus atom. This is Dr. B with the atomic orbital diagram for phosphorus. Thanks for watching.